Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting game from round 5 of the 2018 Norway Championship. It's a game between Magnus Carlsen, uh, you all know him, he's the World Chess Champion and he's playing against Wesley So. Uh, Wesley already won uh, the rapid portion of the Norway uh, 2018 Championship and now he has uh, the white pieces against Magnus Carlsen which is definitely not a bad deal. And since you all enjoy uh, the photo challenge so much I decided to make it a bit more difficult this time. So uh, this photo challenge... Uh, will uh, get you half a point for one correct answer and another half a point for <laughs> for the other correct answer uh, but if you know only uh, you know uh, the chess player th that will be completely sufficient so uh, let's check it out so who is the person on the left so if you know that I'm pretty sure you do but uh, you know uh, j just checking it's a photo from when he was younger but you know i'm sure you 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 would never forget a smile such as this one uh, and if you know who the person on the right is as well well then your then your knowledge is uh, beyond vast and uh, i truly congratulate you so uh that's for the photo challenge i will not uh, say, uh, tell you who these uh, people are but you know the comment section never lies m most of the times uh, and we do have a couple of photos from uh, from this game. Uh, let's let's check it out. Here we have a photo for, uh, before the game started. Here a nice handshake, uh, Wesley with the white pieces, and uh, we do have another photo from the middle of the game. Carlson doesn't really uh, enjoy his current position, and you know Wesley Wesley uh, w with a nice poker face. So uh, let's let's check out this game. Uh, Wesley opens with d4. Just a second. Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, so he opens with d4. Uh, we have d5, c4, and c6. Carlsen goes for the Slav defense. Uh, c captures on d5, the exchange variation, c captures, and the bishop to f4. Knight to f6, knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, and a6. Uh, rook to c1, uh, bishop to f5, and e3 now. Uh, rook to c8, uh, we have bishop to e2, e6, simply normal developing moves, uh, Wesley castles, knight to d7, uh, from d7 uh, the, the knight will, you know, have, the knight has a lot of, a lot of ideas, he can go to b6, to a4, uh, to c4, the knight uh, can control c4 nicely if white ever uh, decides to bring uh, a knight over to c5, so definitely a, a useful squ square for the knight. Uh, knight, we have knight to a4, uh, bishop to e7, preparing to castle, h3, uh, Carlsen castles, a3 now, and knight to a5. Carlsen would also enjoy bringing his knight over to c4. Uh, knight does come to c5, and Carlsen also puts his knight to c4. Uh, b4 now, uh, we have knight captures on c5, pawn uh, d captures on c5, and now knight captures on a3. Uh, when Carlsen played this move, he said uh, it's only a temporary pawn, pawn sacrifice, of course, but uh, the variation he was expecting was queen to a4. And now, of course, the knight is attacked, and after the knight moves, bishop captures on c4, pawn captures, and uh, now, of course, you cannot uh, capture with the rook. Uh, if you play rook captures, then you get b5. The queen is attacked, rook is attacked, and uh, if you capture on passant, then rook captures on c4, as the rook on c4 is undefended. Uh, but uh, after d captures on c4, uh, you, can, you can simply play knight e5, uh, and now, of course, you will be able to recapture. After f6, knight captures, uh, you get e5, and, and black is fine here. So Carlsen didn't really see any problems with this after knight captures on a3. Uh, but Wesley played uh, knight to d4 first. So now the bishop on f5 is attacked, you definitely don't want to allow this knight captures. Uh, this would, you know, deprive uh, Carlsen of the bishop pair and also mess up his pawn structure. Uh, so bishop to e4, f3, and now bishop back to g6. And queen b3 now, attacking the knight. Knight moves, uh, we have bishop captures on c4, d captures on c4, and queen captures on c4. So the pawn is now returned. Uh, queen to e8, and uh, bishop to g3 now. Bishop to g3 is a very nice move by Wesley. Uh, the idea is, uh, if you play uh, a developing move, something like rook fd1, then you run into e5. Uh, e5 comes with an idea that after bishop captures, then black has this bishop captures on c5 idea. Uh, pawn captures and now queen captures on e5 as the bishop here is undefended. And after e4, uh, rook f to d8 and black is uh, black is fine here, even has a nice pass pawn here. So after queen to e8, uh, bishop to g3, a very nice move. Uh, e5, knight to b3 and bishop to d8 now. A bishop to d8 is a move that will uh, that will 
uh, prove to be uh, not not so great in the future, but it, it's very hard to, to see why. Uh, here Wesley plays queen to d5. He attacks the b7 pawn. And now uh, now you, you, you have a problem. If... Uh, okay, Carlson played queen to b5. Uh, he defended the b7 pawn this way. Okay, he gives up the e5 pawn, but uh, let's say he can capture the b4 pawn. Uh, better move uh, than this would have been bishop to g5. And it's not only because uh, first you attack the e3 pawn, and after the pawn is defended, then rook to c7, you can defend this. Uh, the reason why bishop to g5 is, uh, is a better defense uh, than the move Carlsen played uh, is because now after queen to b5, uh, the problem is that uh, your rooks are not connected. And it's very interesting uh, how Wesley immediately takes advantage of this. Uh, bishop captures on e5 is played. Uh, and now Carlsen played bishop to e7. The problem with queen capture some b4 immediately uh, is that it, run, it runs into bishop to d6. Now your rook is under attack and you have to give up this rook. Uh, if you try to save it, for example, rook to e8, then you run into c5, c6 and it's all over. Uh, your queen is under attack and after b captures, attacking white's queen, then simply bishop captures. <clears throat> After pawn captures, now you see the problem, your rooks are not connected and your rook is undefended here. Uh, white would be up a whole rook. So uh, first Carlsen goes bishop to e7, now connecting rooks, uh, and now Wesley plays uh, queen to d2, simply defending his b4 pawn. Uh, rook f to d8, attacking the queen, and now bishop to d6. Uh, a, ver a very nice idea. Uh, we have bishop to f6 uh, and e4 now. h6. Uh, we have knight to d4, bishop captures, queen captures, and rook to e8 now. Uh, rook f to e1, uh, king to h7, and now g4, expanding even further. Uh, f6, and now f4. So Carlsen doesn't really have any active plans, and uh, it's, uh, it's very hard to find a useful move here. Uh, queen to c6, uh, we have f5 now. Uh, bishop to f7, and now h4, preparing g5 in the near future. Uh, here Carlsen plays rook to a8, he would really enjoy pushing a5 here, uh, and Wesley plays uh, rook to c2. Uh, we have a5, uh, and now comes g5. Uh, capturing on g5, g5 doesn't really do anything for black, and of course g6 would be uh, terrible if, if Wesley could play this, uh, as it would win the piece here. So after bishop to h5, we have g6 check, king to h8, and now comes b5. Uh, a nice idea by Wesley. Uh, queen captures on b5 and now rook to b2, attacking the queen. And here with queen to d7, uh, perhaps perhaps Carlsen could still hold on. Uh, but uh, after queen to c6, he allowed uh, rook to b6. Uh, this comes with an attack on the queen. Uh, and after queen to c8, uh, we have queen to d5. And now you see that the b7 pawn is under attack and uh, black is completely tied down. This bishop on d6 is a complete monster. Uh, completely denying black of any counterplay, and it's uh, it's pretty much useless to try and defend the b7 pawn. If you play something like rook to a7, then comes queen to f7, and now your rook on a7 is is a huge problem because uh, c6 and uh, you, you can never capture the rook on a7 is undefended. And after black, let's say makes a move a4, there really isn't any good move here. Uh, you can play c6, but even better is e5. Uh, and after f captures, bishop captures, now you're threatening checkmate. After black stops this, uh, rook to g8, uh, simply bishop captures. Rook captures and now rook to e8, check, you win the queen and the game. Queen captures, captures, uh, and after queen to f7, black is, black is completely lost, of course. So after queen to d5, Carlsen decided, ah, I'm not going to even bother defending this, he played e4, a4. Uh, we have rook captures on b7, definitely the best idea, and uh, now rook to g8. Uh, Carlsen doesn't have time to play a slow move, for example a3, if he wants to continue pushing this pawn, uh, because now you get rook captures on g7, simply as simple as that. After king captures, of course, this will result in checkmate. Uh, so after rook captures on b7, uh, rook to g8 was played, uh, c6 is coming, and... Uh, it was in this position uh, on move 44 uh, that uh, world champion Magnus Carlsen resigned the game. And it's not uh, only that he resigned the game, but this is the first game actually, the uh, first classical game that he lost in 2018. And uh, another thing, it's uh, the first game uh, that Wesley So has ever won against Magnus Carlsen in classical time format. I believe it's their 13th game or 
maybe 11th, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 13th. So yeah, a, a huge win for Wesley, and uh, he got a uh, you know a nice rating boost. He won six points for this for this victory, and uh, you know definitely uh, he he reset the standings. So before we forget, let's check out the standings after round five. So these are the standings uh, prior to rounds. No, sorry, these <laughs> these are the standings of round six. This is round six. Uh, sorry about that. So Carlson still in first place, but only leading with half a point. But he has three out of five, uh, out of six. Yeah, and uh, Wesley So is uh, in second place with three, but out of five. So he will play uh, one game more. Uh, then we have Aronel with three out of six. Then Anand with two and a half out of five. Na uh, Nakamura with two and a half out of five. Karakin with two and a half out of five. Fabiano with two and a half out of five. Uh, Mamediaro with two and a half out of six, and Maxim Vashela Grav uh, with two out of five. So definitely uh, anything can happen. And Wesley So, uh, after winning this game, so he is now, uh, I believe, the only player without a loss that has won at least one game. Definitely an excellent position to be in. And uh, we do have, uh, I believe, this is, yeah, no, we already saw that one, but we do have a very nice photo. This is a photo after the game. There, you know. Check, checking out probably some of the variations Carlson might have missed, uh, but uh, it was um, like I said in my previous video. It was um, uh, what, when Carlson is doing interviews before. You know, he always said, "Ah, I, I, okay, I lost because I played uh, idiotic moves. I'm an idiot." You know, uh, it was like he said things like this plenty of times. But now, uh, after um, uh, while he was making an interview, he really said that, uh, you know, the only reason he lost this game is because Wesley played an excellent game. And, you know, uh, all, all the credit goes to Wesley. So definitely uh, an, an, a nice move by Carlson. So yeah, uh, that's the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank uh, Oliver Perg for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. And congratulations uh, on your great uh, victories uh, against your body. Uh, yeah, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'm really interested uh, how many of you will uh, figure out this photo challenge. Thank you all, and I will see you soon.